Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome back to Digimon World DS, also known as Digimon Story over in Japan, because it's not actually part of the Digimon World series of games at all. But that's how westernization works. Anyway, this is episode f uh, yes, five, five. I put a four on Wednesday, so f f f five. Yeah, five. I'm sticking to it. It's five. Um. <laughs> Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series. Uh, of course, if you need to catch up on it at all, there's a card over on the right-hand side of the screen. So be sure to check it out if you uh, want to see how we got to where we are now. But for those of you who have been following along, we're going to jump right down on, right on into it. I have not done any more grinding between last episode and this episode, because I didn't need to. We already got it taken care of. We have our, our, our amazing Tyranimon, who is carrying our team. Although he has got a little bit stronger, because we're... Oh, wait, no. Hang on. No, I am wrong. I did do grinding. Sorry, my memory is failing me. Because I did say I wanted Kawagamon, and Kawagamon I went and got. So, to the Digi Farm. We have Betamon, the adorable Betamon, who is still growing. Aquilamon, also still just here. That's all we got in the main farm. That's right. Boring, moving on. Switch Farms, Drake Farm, which is now bigger. I renovated it. It is now bigger. And bigger is occasionally better. We have here Lopmon, who I've named Alma. I should probably just use the list, probably easier. Uh, list. We have Gardramon, who you've seen before, Padamon, who you've seen before, but I've, but I've begun naming my Digimon. I have Alma the Lopmon, who I encountered over in the uh, steamy jungle. She, uh, she, I'm, I'm assuming it's a she. I, I've decided, I, I have decided for myself that it's a she. Uh, is, of course, the rookie form of Kokomon in the Digimon movie, although I don't believe there's any Kokomon in this version of things. In this uh, game, she actually digivolves into Wizardmon. Which is quite interesting. But she also de digivolves back into Pagumon, the little mischievous in training Digimon who is always kind of a jerk. But Pagumon can also digivolve into Sukaimon, which is like a, a, a type shifted Patamon, which doesn't seem to digivolve into anything, as far as I can tell. And Black Agumon, like our friend right, we, the, who we have to go see. But Black Agumon digivolves into Dark Tyranimon, which means she's immediately on the list. But she needs 400 more uh, Dark Experience before she's even eligible to become Black Agumon and be level 10. So I'll have to let her soak up some Dark some dark Experience, and then we can de-digivolve her, her back down to a Pagumon, and we can go about getting a Dark Tyranimon to add to our Dino Party, because damn it, I want one. But that's not the only thing we found out in the jungle. We went looking, and we found... Ampyreon, because I wanted to find a good name for an electric bug. And the reason being is, while Kawagamon might not be all, all, all that electric, I was right in my assumptions that he does digivolve into Tentamon, who of course also digivolves into the amazing Kabuterimon. Easily one of my favorites from the show. A big, big, big bug that shoots electricity every which way, and he's just super cool looking. And of course, he digivolves into the always amazing Mega Kabuterimon, which is like, you know, the same thing, but cranked up to 11. Love it. So, that's where we go. But see, uh, Kawagamon also digivolves into Okuamon, who is pretty damn cool looking himself, in fairness. I mean, as far as bugs go, I want mine with big old mammoth tusks, wouldn't you? So, uh, in order to reach Okuamon, he only, he only needs to reach level 19. However, he's a little on the weak side. Um, however, I have been learning some things I did not know before, and that is all about scan data. I decided I'd finally go look at what scan data actually does, and it turns out it's not just excess data. They, they, because um, once you reach 100% scan, <clears throat> once you reach 100% scan with something, um, you can just create it, and it's yours, and you can go off from there. But what I didn't know was you can actually make better Digimon by just creating it. So, um, or, 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 or sorry, 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 ahem. Better Digimon by getting to, to, to maximum scan data. So the more scan data you have, the better your Digimon is going to be when it comes out, which is kind of making me want to think, to, to, to rethink this, because I might have to go on a massive grinding spiel, get all the ones I really, really, really want to like 999, which would take forever. Um, but I think for now, I'm gonna leave it the way it is. I think as you go up the, 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 the tamer ranks, it gets easier to get lower level Digimon. So like, in training becomes even better. Rookie becomes what in training used to be. Champion becomes what Rookie used to be. Like it becomes easier to get new scan data as you level them up, or sorry, as you as, as a tamer level up, I believe. 
So if that's the case, I'm going to hold off for a little bit, and we'll go back and we'll get those things later on, because I can always break the Digimon I have now back down into data if I need to, and so we'll just have to do that. Um, I might do it between sessions just for Gabumon, though, because it's really, 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 really easy to get new Sunomon data, because there's tons of them, they're everywhere, and they're just in training, so I'll just go there and swat a few of them around. Um, <clears throat> I would do the same for Poyomon, because I'd just do it at the same time, they spawn in the same area. Tokomon would be another really easy one, but there's not that many in training Digimon around the place, so we'll have to wait and see. For now, we're gonna go over and see our friend, question mark, Black Agumon at Training Peak. Uh, as before, I'm going to cut out the random encounters unless something else interesting happens, just because it's a long way to walk, and the encounter rate in this game is slightly killing me. Oh yeah. I mean, like, see, I've already got Tokomon up to 380, because it's 20% per encounter, which makes Tokomon, like, it makes, makes most in training Digimon cake. Um, I'm hoping that once I hit Silver Tamer, that it'll be like 25, maybe even 30, and that'll up the others by, by 5 or 10% the, the, the same way. That would be very nice. I would, I would definitely like that. Um, just because, a, as it is, getting a, a champion Digimon from scan data at like 9.99 would... Uh, I mean, it's doable, but it would be an all-day affair. So, uh, yeah, I'm not quite, I've, I've not quite made up, made up my mind on that point yet. Um, I should note, though, that there's been a, 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 a rush of new people to the channel in the last few days, and I have certainly been very appreciative of that. Thanks to you, thank you to everyone who has dropped by, who happens to be watching this. I'll probably be including a, a, a quick thank you to, to, you know, to, to you guys in all of my videos, in case you can see one of them. Or all of them, you know? So if this is, if this is your third time hearing this, seriously, I mean it. <laughs> um... But yeah, it's 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 been a, a good couple of days, you know. I've 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 been trying to be more social, meeting new people. You guys are cool. More Tokomon. Okay. If this oh, there's more Aquilamon. Hey, look, ten percent. See, ten percent per champion. I mean, I, I guess on the plus side, while, while I'm here, I can get some more Gargermon data. Cause I'm not that over the moon about Aquilamon, although mm, Gigadramon is pretty cool, and I would like a, uh, a Gigadramon. I don't know. Oh, and by the way, uh, I, it's confirmed. Blaze Blast really is as, as, as awesome as we wanted it to be. It's a, it's, it's a targetable, movable, three-panel AoE that does heinous amounts of damage. As you can see. I love it. It's fantastic. Tranamon is everything I could ever have wanted him to be, and then some. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite pleased about that. And see, I, I suppose I could always buy training gear, because there are machines you can buy from the farm goods shop that let you train your Digimon manually. Um, which can boost our stats that way as well. Which is certainly tempting. That is a, a decent way to go about it. Um, it's just that I, I believe that, that they have like a, 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 a maximum limit. So they might be strong, but they will never be as strong as they would have been if you'd done the, 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 the 999 route and then trained them. And because I'm just compulsive enough of a person to find that bothersome, I'm gonna want to do the 999 route because I can't help it. I I, I must know that my Digimon are better than their Digimon because I just I just do. <laughs> I level up for Rex our Tyrannomon. The 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 terrifying power behind the claws, behind the throne, behind the tamer, behind the Digimon, behind everyone. He's just way at the back there, holding it all together. Patamon's at a 590. But Gargermon's at a 10% because I've already uh, scanned him in, so that's a total of 110. Because I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I can like un unscan the one I have now if I wanted to. Pro probably what I would do is, or, or, or what I would hope to do is, if I can manage to get Kotemon, I could always de-digivolve the Kotemon into Kapurimon and de digivolve Gargermon into that as well. Because that would be 200% for for. Uh, Kapurimon. If, if now, if if I could find somewhere that has Kapurimon, then even better, because that would just make it so much easier. But as of yet, I have not. But there's got to be a machine-based place somewhere, because most of these places have a theme. Like the 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 Data Forest is mostly Beast Digimon. With you know the the the, the, the well, no, it's kind of a mix actually. It's got uh, Kapurimon is the only beast that. Well, sorry, Kapurimon and Ogremon are the only digi uh, the only um, beasts there. But they've also got uh, Poyomon, who is an Aquan type, technically speaking. 
and because I picked Sunomon, I mean, he's there. He's a beast as well, but that's not default. Excuse me. Um, then the training peak here obviously has mostly, uh, mostly bird types. It does have the odd machine type, but it's mostly birds. And then Steamy Jungle is all uh, plants and insects with the occasional beast. So there's got to be somewhere that has, like, the main type as machines. And there will probably be our best chance to get uh, Kapurimon, I would imagine. So it might just be, it, it might just make more sense to just keep pushing on for now. Because, I mean, our, our Digimon might not be the cream of the crop, but they're plenty strong. So what I will probably do is just keep on get more zones unlocked, get a higher tamer rank, and when it is just easier to get other Digimon trained up faster, then I'll worry about it. Because for now, I mean, I, I could grind for hours and I could do it now, but I'm, I am I have the sneaking suspicion that I'll just, like, level up to the next level of tamer or find a new area, and just all of a sudden it'll be, oh, it'd be much easier now, wouldn't it? You know? So I'll just do that. And if I haven't found it in the next zone or two, then I can come back to this and, and, and I can always do it then, you know? So it's not, not, not too pressing a concern. So like I said, like, with uh, Rex here killing it as hard as he is, we're, we're kind of fun anyway. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Running and climbing. Climbing, running. Alquilamon! Atamon! Oh, we live on again! Because sometimes you get two of them, and it's not very common, but you do sometimes. I mean, as far as Digimon enemies I've fought in the wild go, the Aquilamon bunches are some of the better ones, but they're still not exactly making me shaking my boots, you know? I wonder if I can one-shot you with uh, Rex's Blaze Blast. That's a worthwhile experiment. Get to it. Roasty Toasty, I want chicken tonight. Oh, yeah. Rex is not concerned. The only weakness he has, really, is that using Blaze Blast eats through his mana like you would not believe. So fast. All right. Black Agumon. Oh, you've read my mind. See, this guy gets it. He's a Dark Tyrannomon. I want a Dark Tyrannomon. You know, he, he understands. Of course, he almost kicked my butt last time I fought him. He was only a rookie then. Oof. This is going to hurt. Hey, buddy. Huh? Where's the Black Agumon get off? Got off to? Well, hey, you're the one from that day. Are you here to peck on me again? Uh, what? Are are you? That's right. I've trained hard since and digivolved into what you see here. I dare you to test me. I won't lose. I'm not really here for that. I just want to ask if you know how to get to the Forbidden Land. Do, do you know? How to get to the Forbidden Land? Sure, I know how to get there. Really? Oh, would you just mind telling me? Because that'd be super helpful. Huh, <laughs> why would I want to tell you? If you really want to know, you'll have to beat me in battle. Yeah, of course. All right, big shot. Oh, you are big, aren't you? Oh, it looks so cool. I like Dark Tyrannomon. Okay, well, I, don't, I, don't, I have no idea what level you are, but I'm assuming you're level scary. Let's just start defense upping people. No point using Blaze Blast on this, guys. Let's stick to Rock Propeller. It's a single target move. Hits harder, it hits harder than our base attack. Ooh, 120. Respectable. Dark Blast! Who knew? 69 damage, and that's after the defense up. Gonna get our Karate Punch in on this as well. Eh, not even as much damage as Rock Propeller. Rex really is just the only thing carrying my team right now, isn't he? Oh well, these things happen. I mean, he, he, he is our only champion Digimon. Of course, he has Breath of Fire as well, doesn't he? Give that a try. 144. Oh, not bad. Dark Blast again. Ooh, that hurts. And see, I'm still not exactly sure if, like, different types of Digimon are weak to other types. I imagine that there is a, there is a weakness system in there. But I've yet to figure out what it is, and they don't really tell you. But we'll figure it out, because, like, that, that Dark Blast did a lot more to Gabumon than to Rex, but Gabumon's also a rookie, whereas Rex is a champion, so I don't know if it's just because of that. Possible. Um, can I kill you with Blaze Blast? Probably not. Let's just go with Rock Propeller. Alright. Couple more hits and he'll be down. Look, he did, he did, yeah, he, he did twice as much damage to Gabumon. 
And even if he is a rookie, I don't think it's that big of a difference in strength. So m maybe Dark is good against Beast? Just a first guess? Almost a level on Gomamon, but not quite. He and Gomamon will be leveling soon, which is nice. Sorry, Buckaroo, I'll beat you. Come on, tell me. Yeah, I won! Ah, this can't be! Did I not train hard enough? Now you'll have to keep your promise. Just being a little snot about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. The Forbidden Land is Chrome Mine. I see Chrome Mine, that sounds like a mechanical place. This is good, I like this. You need more than just the address to get there. You'll need the Miracle Digi-Egg from Pandemon at Sheer Valley. Oh no, there's some quests. Although, Miracle Digi-Egg, isn't, isn't, isn't that what we need for uh, Magnemon? Magnemon's pretty cool. You, you, you can use his uh, shoulder pads as boogie boards, according to Davis, anyway. So if Chrome Mine is your goal, you'll have to see Pandemon first. Pandemon at Sheer Valley? Okay, I, 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 I can handle that. Thanks, man. I don't need you to thank me. Just get out of my face. Wait and see, I'll train harder, and beat you next time for sure! Alright, 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 jeez, calm down. He's so angry! But how, how do I get to, to, to Sheer Valley? Oh, I can just go there now. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna go do that. We have plenty of time left in the episode, I don't see why not. Sorry, I'm just... I kinda love the music. I I, I, I know it's it's kinda like you're... you're, you're, you're stereotypical Asian, you know, music theme, but I love this crap. Like, I was, I was, uh, re-watching Kung Fu Panda recently, and Uguay Ascends is still just, like, mmm, so good. Tyrannomon! See, this is, this is what I mean. I, 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 I could have just got Tyrannomon here, but I went out of my way to get it from Gaburimon, which actually, you know what, that wasn't that hard, so that's kind of okay, but if it was something difficult, I would be more upset. This is, this is fine. If anything, this just helps me get Rex back to where I want him to be faster. Because if I just go ahead and get a 999% a, a, a Tyrannomon uh, scan, I can just boost straight to there. Although, going through Gaburimon makes more sense. Uh, farm report. I can probably hold off and wait on that. Because if I'm going to be undoing most of these guys eventually anyway, it's not that important. It's just nice to have backups for now. Anyway, uh, up or straight? Up, I guess? I have no idea. Um, I may have accidentally picked correctly. Airdramon. See, I'm trying to get one of those too. That's that's what uh, Gatsumon did digivolves into. And Dino Human is one of the things that uh, uh, Kapurimon uh, he 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 digivolve into Kotemon, and Kotemon can digivolve into Dino Human. So yeah, this 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 place just has a bunch of the champion forms of things the things we've already got, which again is fine. Blaze blast these fools! Meow. Unstoppable. Although this place is full of dragon experience, which is quite nice. If I ever get my uh, Gaburimon 999 scan, I'll have to come back here and get him to Tyrannomon here. Oh, a little, little little shrine. That's cool. I definitely picked the right way, too, which is unfortunate. I always like finding the other roots first. Tyrannomon. Renamon, that's new. Have not seen a Renamon yet. She's holy type, apparently, but she, she, she has the cross thing going on. So I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet that holy is good against dark, because that makes perfect sense. I mean, Anjumon versus, versus uh, Devimon. And all of that jazz. So Holy beats Dark, Dark beats Beast. What does Beast beat? I don't know. Oh, crit, very nice. Well, Renamon is a rookie Digimon, so she should be relative... Ooh, Wall of Ice? New move on Gabumon. Cool. Uh, but yeah, so... Re Renamon is a rookie Digimon herself. She, sh she shouldn't be too, too difficult to get a hold of. I'm just curious... Is Gabumon ready to Digivolve to, to Gururumon yet, or is that 18? It may, it, it's probably 18. It is 18. <laughs> okay. And 120 attack, or, or, or more. Well, he's at 117 now, and he has two levels to go, so I think, I think we're in the clear for that. <clears throat> Pardon me. But ideally, what I'm going to have to do is set up a few different farms for, like, stat boosting, as well as just experience training. So once I have more places I can go to train different types of experience, like I've got dragon experience now, um, it'll be less important for me to have it just wedged into the farm, I guess. 
with you guys all spaced out. Renamon is very, very fast. V Headbutt. Why do you know V Headbutt? That's Vmon's thing. And it hits twice. <coughs> why? I'm not even sure why it hits twice. That makes a lot of sense, but alright. Well, you're in the range of my Water Blast. Exactly, so Water Blast it is. Sorry, fellas. I am curious about this move that Govmon has learned, though. Ice Wall sounds pretty cool. A Wall of Ice. Whatever. Same difference. Wall of Ice. Oh, it's a it's a fixed range three chunk in the middle. That's cool. Does it cost less than Blaze Blast, though? A little bit. Okay, so basically, it, you, 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 you trade off um, MP cost for flexibility, which I can kind of, I, I, I can kind of dig that. I can, I, I can understand that. Makes sense. <clears throat> now, where is this panda? Oh. Maybe I didn't go the right way after all. That's a very, very long way to go to not be the right way. Eldramon! No human again! It's the dragon team. Oh, a third one. Another Eldramon! Okay, so yeah, coming here for, 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 for dragon experience is officially the best idea. If, if, if ever you need dragon experience. I mean, I, I I do have a drag farm, though, so maybe maybe less so because of that little detail. But if, but if I didn't have the drag farm, this would be by far the best place to come for experience, which makes me feel a little bit sad that I picked the drag farm, actually. Because <laughs> I'm seeing now that it's not that necessary. Although, because, like, 50 per battle in, in this area would be pretty, pretty good. I got 110 a day on the farm. So, 50 per battle is pretty, pretty all right. They seem pretty common, because even in the areas without as many Erdramon, you have plenty of, um, plenty of Tyrannomon. So that is kind of, kind of amazing, and kind of annoying at the same time. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost tempted to, like, reboot my save between this episode and, and the next one and get, like, a different farm, but there's no point. Because all, 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 all I would be doing is making is, is giving myself more more work to do, getting scan data. Since I've already got a fair amount of data, <clears throat> and um, I'm, I'm assuming we'll, we'll be able to buy any farm we like sooner or later anyway. So it probably does not matter. Okay. Oh, miss! Oh. Well, they don't hurt that bad anyway. Of course, if I remember correctly, their their role is tank. They're, they're they're meant for soaking up hits more than dealing them out. I guess makes sense. Experience. Well, yeah, this is this is by far the best place for leveling I've seen so far, which is good because I needed one. Once we do get those scans complete, we'll have to come here and get some serious leveling done. <clears throat> Pardon me. Sorry, my my sinuses are just continuously awful. I'm not sick or anything. It just just whoa, Monzemon. Wait, that's 5%. Champions are 10. That's an ultimate. Wait, Monzemon's an ultimate Digimon? Um, excuse me? He's kind of a pushover for an ultimate Digimon. Gyral Punch. That wasn't that bad. I, I, keep, I keep expecting worse, but so far he's kind of... Kind of eh. Okay, how much experience does that give? Because he's an ultimate Digimon. 24. That's kind of a letdown overall, but sure, I guess. Kind of cool that he's here at all, though. I, I, I wonder what line Monzemon is part of. Erdramon some more. The return of the revenge of the Erdramon core. And Rex has finally achieved higher speed. Just gonna blaze blast him. Come on, shoo shoo, out of the way. Because I mean, in fairness, two two Aerodromon are thirty-two, one Monzemon is twenty-four. I mean, that's not inconsiderable. This place was on forever. That's one of those blue boxes. I can't open these yet, right? Yeah, it won't open. You know, you need a, a higher tamer rank for those. What rank exactly? I don't know. But Renamon, Dino Human, no Tyrannomon. I was, I, was, I was expecting a second Renamon, but no. <clears throat> the dreaded V headbutt. No, you've bruised my nose a little bit. Straight punch. Eh, it's okay. 
I'm actually going to hold off on using the big scary blaze blast and let Gabumon have a try with his wall of ice. Just soften up these targets a little bit for him before I do that. And, uh, let her rip. Let it rip! Sorry, no, no wrong, wrong series. That's, that's, that's Beyblade. V with the band. Okay, the one that's gonna win. It's Beyblade! Uh, that was a weird... Like, honestly... Beyblade was one of those shows where, in hindsight, I, I can't believe I, got, I, I, I enjoyed it as much as I did because the show makes no bloody sense. Let's 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 go play with tops and then pretend we have any control over the tops after we let them go, and then to make sure that you understood that they could control the tops in some way, they had them possessed by like dragons and phoenixes and things, and it, like it was completely bonkers. Fun, but bonkers. <laughs> Dance of Valor. That's cool. Didn't really do that much, but it sounded cool. Eh. Let's propel some rocks at him. <clears throat> Not quite enough to beat you down. That's fine. I'm gonna straight punch you in a minute. There's a crit. And the straight punch finish. Kapow. No problem. Come on, where's this Panda Man at? Or Panda Mon, whatever. Panda Man, Panda Mon, pan, 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 whatever his name is. Are there, are there two ladders up to the same plateau? That's interesting. No, no, Human and Aerodramon again. Come on, guys. And see, if I trusted myself to just run away from them, actually, you know, let's, just, let's just try it. Because see, as long as you encounter them, you get the scan data. You, like, you don't actually need to beat them. So you could, in theory, just run around, running away from everyone, getting scan data, and then come back when you have them. There's no reason to not do that other than the fact that you'll be broke. Because nope, the only way you, you get money is if you win. Pandemon. Yoo-hoo! percent Dino Human, 100% Aerodramon. The Dance of Valor! Ah, uh, bugger it. Just blaze him. It's faster. I'm too impatient for this. Come on, pl pl please be almost there. Because, like I said, I, I, this game is a ton of fun, but the encounter rate slightly kills me. You bump into stuff a lot, because it's not even like a run-walk thing. It's not even a thing that you can consciously control. Monzimon and Erdramon. The combination you never knew you needed, because you didn't. Burn them. Now I have no no uh, Blaze Blast MP left, which is kind of a bad thing. But if I level up soon, it'll be alright. Nice chunk of experience. No, we're uh, 250 off of, off of leveling, so maybe this will be an item here. That'd be nice. Uh, Digivolve disc. Is that what it sounds like? Can I just just instantly digivolve someone? That seems like it's cheating. Um, use during battle to spontaneously digivolve your... Oh, okay, so it's like a temporary power-up. That's kind of cool, actually. Go ahead and give, give a, an MP chip to, to, to Rex as well. Just to make sure we have plenty of Blaze Blasts to go around. Get his health up as well. Can't have him going down. He he is the anchor of my team. We need him. Alright, Pandemon. Come on out, please. This has got to be it. We're almost there. I think. I hope. I, pray, I, 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 I slightly pray. Tyrannomon! Tyrannomon, who's at 60 now. And Tyrannomon again. No, I don't have enough Blaze Blast to use it twice. No, yes I do. Just barely. I guess that's fine. Anything to get this over with a little bit faster. Because there's so many encounters. I just want to get new farms and things. G give, give me cool stuff. That's all that I want. Cool stuff in... Oh, there he is. Hi, Pandemon. Excuse me, are, 
Are you Panamon, or do you just look, 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 at me, look exactly like a panda, you know, for no good reason? Yes, you are here to see me. Well, actually, I need to get to Chrome Mine, and I'd like to, to borrow something. May I borrow your Miracle Digi Egg? Is that it? Get lost, kid. I am too busy trying to solve an extremely difficult question. Sorry, not to come back later. Oh, come on, I'm in a hurry. Pretty please with sugar on top? Oh, what a pest. Then, if you can't answer this question, I will grant it. First, a question to see if you qualify for the question that baffles me. Ready? What color is Agumon's armband? <coughs> it's red. Wow, you are absolutely correct. Agumon's armband is red. You can now answer the real question. Here it goes, listen carefully. What of Agumon, Patamon, and Gatomon? Which Digimon does not belong in the group? I mean, it's, it's Gatomon, because she's, she, oh, she's the only one who's not a rookie. She's the champion of Digimon. Agumon and Patamon are rookie Digimon, but Gatomon is a champion. You are totally correct. Oh, splendid, thanks to you. I got the answer to that really difficult question. All right, it's a token of my appreciation. I'll let you borrow the Miracle Digi Egg. Woohoo! Thanks! I am always here, so you can visit me anytime you like. And if I struggle with, with, with another question, I would like to ask for your help. Okay, sure. I got the Miracle Digi Egg! That was easy. Okay. So we can just go to the place now, right? Since I now have the Miracle Digi Egg, I should be able to get to the Chrome Mine. Uh huh, uh, that's funny. The gate to Chrome Mine won't open. Hey, let me have a look at that. You mean the Miracle Digi Egg? Uh, sure. I knew something was wrong. It's fake. What? No way. Take a look at, take a look at this in, uh, at, at the engraving on it. <clears throat> it doesn't say Digi Egg of Miracles. The engraving says Digi F of Miracles. Oh. Don't. Oh, no way. I got this dirt directly from Pandemon. Really? Hang on, let me ask Pandemon. Wait, you could have just messaged him in the first place? I didn't have to go all the way there? Come on, guys. Oh, Pandemon, it's me, Terriermon. That miracle DE, you, you, you let that tamer. Seems it's a fake. Did, did, did you know that? Uh huh, uh huh, I see. Okay. Let me switch over, look. Let me, uh, switch back over to the tamer. <clears throat> Pandemon, wants, Pandemon wants to talk to you. We got a call. I did not mean to hand you a fake. I think it got swapped when I lent it out last time. Darn that Platinum Sukumon. Does that mean Platinum Sukumon has the real thing? Most likely. Well, then I'll just, to, I'll just have to go see him then. Sorry about that. He lives in the drain tunnel. I just sent you the address to there. Alright, thanks. <clears throat> okay. Let's go to the drain tunnel to get the thing to go to the chrome mine, and of course the drain tunnel might have machine uh, stuff in there as well, because they said that it's machines and mutants under the same umbrella. So that could be a mutant thing. Right. <clears throat> drain tunnel indeed. Oh, and, and, and our farm report is in. Let's have a look-see. What's shaking, fellas? Quillamon has not changed much. Betamon has not changed much. He's almost level 13, though. He's level 12 now. Um, Alma has leveled. Gatsumon has leveled. I think he's ready for uh, ready for Erdramon now, if we, if, if we were so inclined. <coughs> Empyreon has leveled. I do kind of want to actually go get Air, uh, Gatsumon for, 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 for Erdramon, because why not? Having, having another champion on the team couldn't be a bad thing. Although his move set is probably not as good as the one we, as the two rookies we have right now. Uh-oh, we're eating more food than, 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 we're, than we're producing, though, is a problem. <coughs> How much food do we have left? Uh, I still have a bunch of food left over from the other days. Like, like, like... 3,000 kilograms of food, so we're, so we're fine. But we are operating at a deficit. Just keep that in mind. Hmm. It's all those champion Digimon. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm gonna... Go get some more scan data, I think. Well, eh, since we do seem to be progressing towards this this silver tamer business, maybe I'll hold off on that just for now. I do want to get Renamon, uh, for one, and I guess Monzemon possibly as well, although he's an ultimate. That might take a little while. Um, I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold off. I'm going to do next episode first. We're going to try and get this whole Phil thing resolved, 
and then we can maybe get to Silver Tamer and have an easier time of it. Because I think I, I, I'm still convinced that Chrome Mine and this this uh, this uh, what was it? Dank Sewer, Damp Sewer, Dark Sewer, whatever uh, place will probably be quite useful for this as well. So I'm gonna hold off for, just just for now, and I'll do a big old scan data a thon when the time looks good. So for now, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Thanks so much for for uh, watching all all the way through to the end if you're still here. And uh, be sure to, to um, check out the rest of the series if, if you haven't seen this one. Uh, again, there was a card back at the start of the episode, but I'll, I'll also include uh, links in the end screen. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And for now, a Monster Mad out. Bye-bye!